I would not wish this stuff on like my worst enemy at all. 24-year-old COVID patient Patrick Bershia had been hospitalized just over a week when we first met him earlier this month. Oh, sorry, what the... Deep breath. <laughs> yeah, take a breath. He struggled to breathe, but he wanted to keep talking to share this message. As soon as I can, I'm getting the vaccine. And I highly recommend anyone who has it to do it because this is a very scary situation. Do you regret not getting the vaccine? Absolutely. I 100% regret it. Specifically, what were some of the things you were hearing? That the vaccine was not a real vaccine, that uh, it was like a tracking chip the government was trying to use on us. Patrick was in the ICU at Billings Clinic in Montana, which was already seeing its highest number of COVID patients since last year. This is the ER. They've set up overflow beds in the hallways. Nurse Chrissy Baxter was among those caring for Patrick. Is it exhausting? It is. It's exhausting. I've had days where I've thought, I don't know that I can get up and continue to do this job. And I've been a nurse for 30 years. I believe passionately in what we do. I want to make a difference for patients, but I never thought I would be there. But I've had days that I thought, I don't know that I can continue to do this. Since then, she says, things have gotten worse. The hospital has limited ECMO treatments, external machines that can function as a critical patient's heart and lungs. Administrators have also discussed how best to get ready for what's known as critical standards of care, essentially guidelines for how to ration resources. This is heartbreaking. This is something I have never prepared myself for or never anticipated. And since we met, Patrick took a turn for the worse. He was placed on a ventilator and died this weekend. Every time we moved him, we weren't sure if the end was going to be in that moment. And so I just wanted to be there to hold his hand. In just one week, Patrick would have turned 25. He now leaves behind a young son. I, much like a lot of people in my age group, uh, didn't really have a whole lot of proper information. I was hearing a lot of uh, propaganda saying, oh, like COVID's a conspiracy theory. Uh, it's not real. You know, just a whole bunch of crap. But, uh, is it true? This is very real. It's it's very scary. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.